All right, God bless y'all. I'm back again. And I just want to thank God for this cool. It's cool in Minnesota. We don't have, like, bad heat. The wind is always blowing. Sometimes I think we have summer just be 30 days because Minnesota gets cold in September. But I came to a special message for my uh, sister Helen and her husband, but especially for Sister Helen. Sister Helen, I just want to thank you so much in Jesus' name for your um, your graciousness and for your kindness. Many of us in the gospel, we go through so much and like I was telling Sister Lauren on Facebook Live, we don't. sometimes many of us that's stri striving and trying in God, we don't have anybody. But I thank you, um, Pastor Helen. I thank you so much for when you came on my channel and we became uh, friends on Facebook. I really just thank you because I, I was going through such a hard time in my spiritual walk. And I just want to let you know that because of the table talk that we had with us and the other young ladies and the men that was on there none of us knew each other except for y'all knowing each other but no one knew me and I just want to say thank y'all so much um one of the brothers videos that I saw last night crave for the power that definitely hit home with me and that's one of the reasons why um today I will be off of the Facebook because we have to crave for the power of God. The power. God said after you receive the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power. And I was struggling in my walk. I just want to say this real quick. I was struggling in my walk because I didn't have the evidence of speaking in tongues. But glory to God, the Holy Spirit always dealt with me and said, Daughter, the Holy Spirit is upon you. The Holy Spirit is upon you. And I never forget when me and Sister Lauren, she came to New York and she went to... Uh, this pastor's church and I'm telling you sometimes people in the gospel can make a person feel so not themselves you know but I just want to thank you sister Helen because you really like when I when I got on the table talk we were able to come in and I really want you sister pastor Helen to share the video so people could come to the table talk so they'll be able to share one of the most significant things I got out of the table talk was when the question was asked, what were we lacking in our spiritual walk? We need to know what we're lacking. We, all of us in the world need to know what we're lacking. What is it that we're actually lacking in the gospel? Amen. We need to know that. And so today is my little break day. Me and Sister Lauren, when she, she gets off at four from working from home, we're going to go out and celebrate. And I'll be off the Facebook for a while. But I just want to say that because of you, um, Sister Helen, I, I, I told God I want to be all I can be in him. And because of you, I'm going to press my way to seek the Lord. And that's what where I'm at right now. And so I just love uh, knowing that the Father is going to accept me to seek him a little more i feel good in my my gym walk that's gonna the pounds are gonna go i lost five pounds already and i know next month it'll be 15 to 20 pounds that's gonna go that's temporarily no one wants to be big and unhealthy but the spiritual walk like i said that that video really hit home for me and it just gave me the um, admiration to seek the Lord with my whole heart. And I'm going to do that. And Sister Helen, I want you, Pastor Helen, I want you to pray for me. I really do. Because it's something that you did on the um, table talk at the end of it. It was given to you by God. I have spiritual discernment and I use it. I really do. We have to use our spiritual discernment, and you really did use it, and it, and it only came from God. And I thank you so much, um, Pastor Helen. I'm going to go off of the Facebook because I don't like to talk too much. I get emotional after a while. But I thank God for your life, and I thank God for your husband's life. And um, y'all out there, don't. I want to talk to the Facebook now just to tell y'all, don't worry about a wife and a husband. You know, you hold God to the promises that he have you, and one day it will appear. God don't move like we do. He don't move like we do. And just like he said, just as sure as the highs, the heavens above, our thoughts can't even reach up to, to him. We don't think like God. God is an ultimate 
He's ultimate. He's different. And that's why he made us peculiar. So all of y'all that's suffering, I know. I know it in the spirit. Don't cry. Wipe your eyes and fight on. Keep fighting. Whatever you want and desire of the Lord, if you believe. If you believe. And let me tell you this. Let me encourage you a little bit. If you come to God and you ask him for something and you don't believe, don't worry. God is going to sit you down and he's not going to move in your behalf. But if you keep asking him and one day you say, God, I don't know what else to do. I really don't know how to believe. Help my unbelief. He will help your unbelief. He will help your unbelief. Glory to God. I know what I'm talking about. And that moment that he sees your faith go on, that light bulb goes on in heaven. And what you ask him for, he that he'll do. John 14 and 4 is real. That's a real, he will do everything you ask him, ask him for. He God just don't work for the for the physical things that we ask him for. The spiritual things lay up, lay up and seek the Lord. All right, y'all be blessed. God bless each and every one of y'all. Be blessed, Pastor Helen. Thank you so much. You pray for me now. You and your husband, you pray for me. And when I say pray, you know what I mean. We we going to turn down our plates without anybody knowing. Amen. And we're going to get a breakthrough. You pray for me now. And God bless y'all and keep y'all. I'm on my way to celebrate. I had enough. The gym, it almost, it didn't kill me, but I'm, I'm done with that for now. Next week is coming. God bless y'all.